Hey guys, it's me, Steve. There's been a lot of things going on recently, with the death of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and many others, and I wanted to add my voice, limited as it may be. If you haven't noticed by now, I love fantasy books. I love being taken to different worlds, places where magic truly does exist, where ordinary people, the least likely of people, are called upon to challenge and overcome seemingly insurmountable odds. I love fantasy not because of what I learn about places that don't exist, but because of what I learn about myself, about humanity, and about my own world. Fantasy removes, or perhaps reveals, unconscious bias by placing the reader in entirely novel situations, unconnected to virtually anything familiar, and allows you to live those experiences from the eyes of a different character. Brandon has said that his writing is about trying to make readers feel what it's like to be someone else. It's about dreaming and imagination, and about making you, for a short time, be someone else and experience their world. Things you may normally reject in your own life become not just acceptable, but lauded in the book. Ideas you personally hold very close can be safely challenged and even changed by a fictional person's experience. Maybe the purity of your blood has nothing to do with your worth. Maybe compassion for a single death can change the world. And maybe there is some good in the world, and it's worth fighting for. So, let's talk about Mistborn. Spoilers. In Mistborn the Final Empire, there's a race of people that has historically been treated as slaves, as property, beaten with impunity and killed without consequence forced to live in slums, in abject poverty, driven to crime to survive, and then punished for it, denied resources and opportunities by the higher class. Previous attempts to change the system have been met with violence, often including military action. Concerted effort from the government has been taken to keep this population in check, quiet assassination of community leaders, enactments of laws designed to restrict rights and opportunity. A militarized policing force granted authority from the executive branch and labeled as impartial that would consistently target minority community members and would remove any that they deemed a threat. Then, a well-loved member of that oppressed community is publicly killed by a figure in a position of authority, sparking the population to rise up and riot against the systemic racism, bigotry, and classism that held them down for hundreds of years. Do you remember how you felt when you read that? You cheered. You thought the rioters were justified. You thought to yourself, yes, they're going to beat the bad guys, overthrow the oppressive government, and start fixing things. Do you hope for similar things now? The Ska and the nobility are genetically different, changed by Rashik when he held preservation's power, which means at its heart, Mistborn is a racial story. Kelsier, Vin, Breeze, Clubs, Ham, the entire frontline cast of Mistborn are all technically mixed race. How do you feel about that? If there's a twinge of discomfort there, you need to examine yourself. Now, I'm not saying that all the nobility are bad. I'm not even saying all inquisitors are bad. We have counterexamples for each. But when you read Mistborn, you were able to experience, at least a little bit, the frustration and anger of oppression. When you read Harry Potter, you experienced what it feels like to be called a mudblood, to be discounted because of your upbringing. When you read Hunger Games, you felt the rage against needless death. When you read Lord of the Rings, you learned of the importance of standing up for what is right and good and fighting against that which seeks to destroy. What do you feel now? Because this is no longer fantasy. Don't just follow confirmation bias. Don't just listen to the echo chamber of your social media or your preferred media outlet. Do your research. 
Listen to the lived experience of those on the street. Take all that you learned from fantasy, empathy, the value of life, the humanity of people on both sides of the conflict, and apply that to your reality. If you don't understand why Black Lives Matter, why George Floyd was not a new event, but simply the latest event, why we as a society need to stand up against oppression, discrimination, and bigotry in all its forms, then please read and find out.